I think it was one of the biggest mistakes in my life. I shouldn't have looked into the territorium to see everything before. So I looked and then I went off my I forgot you I forgot the license. <laughs> <laughs> because you know like you And I told you I was like, hey minute, I walk out. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on this episode of eForum on Ghana Web TV. My name is Abranti Pass. Usual today we are seated for a conversation on theater production in Ghana. What has been the progress? Where are we headed? And how are those in the field actually faring in terms of you know no coffee? production These and many other issues we are seated for a conversation on it. I have in the studio General Intetia. General Intetia is a is a is a is a stage. Uh, actor and then stage stand up comedian, stand -up comedian and, and, then, and then comic actor. You know, okay, <laughs> what else? Um, you can give me art painting. <laughs> oh, you paint? Yeah, I, paint I never knew. I paint by the way I'll paint you, maybe you know. Behind I, <laughs> I don't know how to do that one. <laughs> Dr. So is yeah. also a stage actor, and unfortunately, that's all I know about uh, stage actor, stage uh, acting, and then concept uh, developer. Okay, also run workshops. And you know, what does it mean to be a concept developer? You know, uh, sometimes if you sit down and um, you realize that, okay, um, we can make and put two and two together mm. to actually uh, build up a brand for somebody or to, to create content for uh, uh, for somebody or if somebody wants to sell something and you say, okay, I, I think that when we use a concept like this or a concept like that, mm. we can naturally sell. Yeah, I so, see. How has that aided you in your journey in the theater <coughs> um, field? Oh yeah, um, um, it has in fact helped us because uh, one of the concepts that uh, myself and Jim are together with the National Theatre Development is a Wednesday Night Theatre, mm -hmm. which realized that uh, after graduation, a lot of um, students from the performing arts do not get into the craft. Why? Because you don't have a lot of uh, production houses. So we decided in partnership with the National Theatre to come up with a Wednesday Theatre, mm -hmm. whereby we encourage young, 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 young artists to form groups, theatre groups, so um, so that. They can know how the business is like. So Wednesday night theater is a platform whereby they experiment, whereby they they know how the theater business is. Mm -hmm. And we are hoping in the next five years or so we'll have a lot of these young arts and we'll find ways and means to promote them onto the mainstream stage. Okay. I think I think for now if I will not as a trade, we have like fifteen production houses. Mm -hmm. We're doing every last Wednesday in a month when you go to the National Theatre, you get a play to watch. You know, you travel outside and every day you walk to a theater and there's something going on. Unfortunately when you come to Ghana you only have it like let's say in three four months time then somebody puts up a play before you get to see something but now every last wednesday in a month you go to the national theater you get a play just get to see national theater of ghana and the two idiots productions the, the main idea is that get yourself together somebody should be a good script writer somebody should be a good actor director and then somebody should design the costume all you need is your costume your play your hair house the national theater is going to give you the tourism is going to give you light sound everything and then the two idiots will also support with um, you know uh, coming around to see your rehearsals mm -hmm. and everything, directing it and making sure it's good. And then you are good to go. Does that not put pressure on national theatre? Not at all. I think it's, it's rather it's rather helping them as well, so that at least you know if they have more production houses in mm -hmm. Ghana now, it now becomes a good business for them because now people will be wanting to put up plays, and then they will come book the national theatre, and business will become good. Over the years. <coughs> Concerns have been that um, the National Theatre should be closed down for renovation and, you know, some people have actually voiced out one or two things. Do you, do you share that view? I, I share that view, but, but the, it comes back to the, to the fact that if you close National Theatre down, what do we have? That's mm -hmm. all that we have. Unfortunately, um, the current government promised that they would go to build theatres across the country, which I even encouraged me to support them in the, in the elections, but unfortunately we've not seen what they said. We are hoping that you know it becomes something that is important for them. The agenda, you know, government after government, I see that they don't really value the arts. You know, when it comes to Ghana, they don't really value it. because if you really value the arts and you promise that you build theaters, but this time we should at least see two or three across. You know, some of the regions and all that's so why we see that the Charlie, we are trying. If we, if we can't do across that you said, do like two or three, or the one that we have, renovate it. If we say we we'll close the national theater down right now, where do we go? Yeah, we just have a few, and that, that 
cannot even match the standards of the national theater. It's unfortunate that the air conditions at the national theater is not working now. They have to get a rented air conditions where you know a private person also has to come and charge additional money after you are done paying the uh, the you know the fee at the national theater. It's very sad, but unfortunately that's the only thing that we have. What do we do? I think it's about time that we come together because we've cried year in and year out. Not this government alone. I think it's a very long time ago. I think the things started even going down from Kufo's era. Mm -hmm. You know, and then we cried. Uh, at Amos came, we cried. Mama came, we cried. Akufado is in, we are crying and we are not seeing anything. So I think we have to start advising ourselves as practitioners and then probably see other means that we can use to support the theater to you know, get on its feet. Because I, I can personally say that the director of the National Theater, Auntie Living Home, is really trying her best, actually. She's not getting what she needs. And, and so, what would these other means be? Uh, that means being maybe me writing proposals to, to private entities mm -hmm. to see if they can consider and support. For instance, we have you know uh, huge electronic uh, electronics companies. Maybe they can consider and go do some partnership with the National Theatre by providing them with huge air conditioners, you know, and all that. I, I even learned the plants there, the, the plant that they have right now is being managed by a private person right now. So if you are doing a play and your and, and, and light goes off. They have to call the person. Recently happened to one of our brothers, um, from the name has escaped. Kognaza. Very, very sad. You know, now the people were on phone calling the guy who has it, and they are the battery that they use to spark the thing is with the guy. So they were calling him and then putting pressure. And he had to explain to them that it's my private thing right now, I'm managing it, so I have to bring the battery some, from somewhere to come and power the place. And patrons were inside the National Theatre, and the place was off. But uh, uh, to add to what uh, Jema just said, mm. I think that it's also the responsibility of government to, to provide funding for the National Theatre. You know, when you travel to Europe and other developed countries, you have funding, okay, whereby there's like maybe five million Ghana City or three million Ghana City for the year, whereby young uh, artists and young production houses can just apply for these funds. That, that will at least serve as a cushion to, uh, to help them and to inspire them to, to create and to produce more because theatre is very expensive. Theatre is very expensive. Our current play that we are putting up right now, if you do the total budget for the entire production, you'll be shocked. You'll be so much surprised. Theatre is very, 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 very expensive. So I think that if government also invest, provide some form of funding, okay, for the national theatre, and young artists can at least um, and, and, and write for funding, and you get a little bit of you know money to push you to start. I think that's going to be a lot of Beyond the venue and what you have mentioned, how would you rate the progress of theatre in Ghana? Oh, uh, we can say that um, theatre is right now progressing because from way back, uh, I, I, I think that in, in our years in the university, university yeah, there was only uh, Nikome, Latif, and Uncle Ebu that were actually doing our production. <coughs> National Theatre, but I mean, ten years down the line, you can, there, 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 there are a lot of young folks right now, a lot of uh, production houses and young folks who are actually trying their best to to to, to actually get into the business. And patronage has also been good. If you like, if you take it way back some time, and now you, you can realize that now lots lots of people are patronizing the theatre. What do you think you did to ensure that the patronage increases? I think it's consistency. Mm -hmm. Like we've been very consistent. Like I said, different production houses. It's like those days that we have, we had only like three, four production houses where they put up a play and then they go to sleep uh, like six months time before somebody. But now we have a lot of production houses now. So at least if you watch, if you, if I will, I will rate everything. Like let's say within um, two to three months, there's a play at the National Theatre. Mm -hmm. So now people are consistently reminded that oh, okay. Theater is going on. People now come to see the national. Theater. I remember I've gotten like about five people who were like, "Oh, I don't want to see play. The national. I want to see movie and all that." I said, oh, "You come and see how to take play is like." And then they, they get to the tour and they see the sets and everything. They are wild and like, oh, tired. Now they become like constant people who always want to come and see plays at the national theater. So I, I think it's been consistent. Like we've been consistent. Different production. I've got talk of the Riverman Productions, Blue Productions, Nasapa Productions, um, um, uh, PB Entertainment, Super Farm. You know. Cartel uh, um, um, multimedia. Now people are now putting up plays, you know, and, and I think that it's, that's the main reason why people are now loving theater. Yeah. If if people are patronizing it, how come we? How come you are not making the money that you anticipate, or, or are you making money? Uh, 
no, 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 no. It's a, it's a 50-50. Yeah. Um, because, um, okay, number one is, is either you go to partnership with the National Theatre. Mm -hmm. That means that, like your venue is sorted out. Mm -hmm. And with that, you have to have a good proposal, you have to have a good marketing strategy for theatre to see that, okay, you know what you're about. Mm -hmm. So let's say that the young up and coming productions will come in, they don't have the, you know, to. So, and if you want to pay for the National Theatre, then you're paid for it. Mm -hmm. okay. Then you have to go for, for, uh, for uh, advertisement on TV. That's also a lot of money. And then you need a few, you know, known faces who are in the business or the industry. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, talking about stage, you know that there's a difference between stage and the movies? Yeah. I mean, yeah, so there are people who are like gods of the stage. You have to get a few <coughs> known faces who are probably expensive. And so, sometimes you're going to read, like, read from uh, 50,000 to 60,000 to 70,000 to 80,000 to just to produce this, uh, these uh, kind of shows. But, 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 but on, a, on, a, on a good day, mm -hmm. You are able to get at least your money that you put in. Yeah. Like if, if if things go well, sometimes. So I can I can say a play like um, like Money Heist. Money Heist yeah. We didn't run at lost. It it was it was it was okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was okay. We didn't get what we were looking for. But at least we were able to pay people. We were able to get the money that we invested in. And now say that it's a progress. Mm -hmm. So it's not like bad like before that you stage a play and then you get like five ten people at the auditorium and then you you finish and you sit down in front of the national theater. <laughs> I remember our first production, um, Love is Policies. Mm -hmm. We finished the the people. We realized that we were left with like two hundred cities. And then we were staying at our house and we had to go back home. And then oh. out. Yes, and we didn't run out of yeah, lost. We are only people we had to yeah. go and pay this. So, uh, uh, yeah, finish. Yeah. I, I have a question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, but it was a tragedy because mm -hmm. you see, you are the producer mm -hmm. and you also play the lead. You yeah. know, like, it's, it's, it's the two of us. We are, we are playing the lead. So, before even the play starts, you know, you are just fine to see whether you get open or auditorium. Mm -hmm. So, just imagine you have invested so much money, you are playing the lead, and you just look into the auditorium and there are like 50 or right, right there. Just, I just peeped. <laughs> the end of the show, I, I think it was, it was one of the biggest mistakes in my life. I shouldn't have looked in the entire auditorium to see everything before. So I looked and then I went off my, I forgot, you I forgot your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, like, you and I turned to you and said, hey, Minnie, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you have to come on stage and <laughs> say, I said, I'm very silly. Yeah. Yeah. And they give you 100%. Yeah. And that is it. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I think that uh, that is also what uh, differentiates, you know, like your, your uh, the level of your, performance skills mm -hmm. that we nearly, we nearly stopped after yeah. that show so that day what did you do we played we played no, shows. Um, after the show after the show yes we, we, and you were left with we were left so we yeah. had to go and borrow money to pay people mm -hmm. i remember we brought my middle on stage after so many years mm -hmm. and then after we can't just watch it and say that we were in front of the loss so we had to yeah. go and pay so we had to go and look for money to pay everybody we, we, we paid everyone so we finished we were only like um about forty thousand, and then the little that we had at the gate also mm -hmm. We had to use that one to pay sound and other things as well. So we were left to like 200 or 150, I remember very well. And that was the money that we had to share between us. And Did you? And I told him that, yeah, we are done. <laughs> <laughs> so we are done. We said, hey, we that, was, that was my next question. Like, <laughs> did you, at a point, feel this thing is not worth it, even though we had a passion, even though we wanted to do it? Like, did you feel Oh, no, no, after, after, after that play. After that, we said, Charlie, you know, that, that's it. it. No, we'll do this we, again. We, we can't do this okay. one and, and kill ourselves before our time. So, so, <laughs> so, so, so you know, like months later, uh, months later, we were there, we were there, we were there, we were there, and then we had this beautiful story. Mm -hmm. When the dark, we said, man, Charlie, the story is so tight. Mm -hmm. That is why we want to fix last year. You have to do it. Yes, man. Oh, again. So, when the previous year, we also <laughs> made a loss. Massive. Oh. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. We went to do Tuno. We went to do Tuno. We went on a weekday. You know, okay. now in Ghana, it's okay. very difficult to, to yeah. sell during the game. I think now the culture is coming back. People are now. Was <laughs> but you know, like, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So that was one of the uh, concepts that we also developed that, okay, we, we realized that every bar's day, they are just concerts and movies, but there's yeah. nothing like a theater yeah. production. True. So we said, that, okay, let's just want to do a test that yes, on a now. Wednesday. So like, the first bar's day was on a Wednesday, and that Wednesday too. Champions League, Real Madrid and PSG. Okay. So boys say, this I one, I go this, this, this one, this one. one. <laughs> I know, I know, I know how it will end. You know, once, once yeah. there is soccer, ah, yes, ah. yeah. So you know, so even if you want to go on a weekday, uh, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday is Champions League, mm -hmm. Thursday is Europa League. You know, and sometimes we have some shows on Friday night and on, and like we have some games on Friday night. And, yeah. Yeah. So, so the Saturday is 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 is, is like the best. Um, but uh, after after the Wednesday, I told you that, bro. 
let's go back to where it's yeah, Saturday. Saturday. Well, Saturday is the show. Mm -hmm. And I think we went for the Saturday, mm -hmm. and that was our, fail, our first, first massive sellout show. So, yes. what, what, what do you consider before scheduling a date for your productions? Apart from the Champions League, because I know now mm -hmm. when there is a Champions League game, you will know. Yeah. So, apart from that one, is there any particular thing that you consider before scheduling? <coughs> yeah. Indeed. Yeah, you look at the number of shows around, just scouts, you know, just look, do an overview and see, okay, we are going in the month of, let's say, March. Mm -hmm. Now, within March, we have like six shows. Mm -hmm. Okay, the shows, some are movies, some are musical shows and all that. Okay, they don't, we are not really looking at any theatrical show within March, so let me go within this month. So we look at the shows and the weight of the show, mm -hmm. because when, you know, some weight, some shows carry, carry yeah, very, yeah. very, you know, hard, hard, hard into it so you don't go around that time you flop so you just have to look at consider all those things as well and then look at a time that people will be receiving their salaries mm -hmm. you know getting to the end yeah, of yeah, the yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so all those things are tricks that you have to really really look at and then also really push for sponsorship it's difficult to get sponsors, sponsorship in mm -hmm. Ghana now but then play your cards very well and make sure that at least yeah if you can't do it at all play one or two tv stations and then maybe a radio station and then you can do it. But if you say you want to do social media alone, it's very, very difficult. You can't do Facebook and Instagram alone to sell it. Let's take a quick break. When we return, I, I would want to find out why it is a bit difficult for you to get sponsorship because it's 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 actually a worry. If you look at the amount that goes into production mm -hmm. and you don't get sponsors, and even when you get, I'm sure it's sponsorship in kind. I don't know how that actually um, take any burden off you as a producer but um, let's have that conversation after this break <laughs> Watching e forum on Ghana Web TV, the name is Abrati. I'm doing this with General Tetia and Dr. So. They are both stage actors. We're having a conversation about theater production in Ghana, how far we have come, and later on we'll talk about what they have up in their sleeves. But before we went on a break, I was you know initiating a conversation on the sponsorship. How difficult is it for you to get sponsors, and what do you get from these sponsors? How does that take any burden off you as producers? Yeah, um, when we started, I mean, when we started, it was very, very, very difficult because uh, if you go to any sponsor, it's a question of okay, what have you done before, mm -hmm. and what are you bringing on board, uh, what can you help us with? Um, are we really sure that you know lots of people are coming to watch your show? Are you going to have a packed show? So they look at all of this and look at the strength of what you can bring on board, mm -hmm. and that will influence um, whether they can come on board as a sponsor or not. And even those days, as you. Uh, as uh, we said during the break, I mean, you just get it, uh, they, they just give you product and not cash. Some will give you, you know, uh, rings, uh, souvenirs and stuff like that. And, you know, sometimes those help, you know, uh, you can distribute it to your cast and crew. I mean, if you have drinks and water, they actually uh, sort that part of your bedding or that part of your cost. Mm -hmm. But I think that uh, in recent years, uh, I mean, the brand has, has, has grown, we've, we've, we've also become very mature in the business, we have understood the business, so if we write these uh, proposals and we go to these uh, proposal meetings and stuff like that, uh, we know what to say, we know what we can offer, and we know what those brands expect, and we know what we can give them in return. So I would say that uh, in these recent years, like it has really been a little bit good. We've had some, 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 some guys who have come on board and who have actually really, really supported the, the business, but I think it's really going to be difficult for other coming in production houses since they don't have the muscle to accommodate what these sponsors actually want. Maybe I should take you back. Um, you walked home <coughs> when the <laughs> when, when when you ran at a loss. Yeah. How was the mood when you 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 had a show and you noticed that at the end of the day you did not only break even but you had profit. In fact, it was very exciting. Mm -hmm. uh, but in fact, I think th that was the first time that I, I went on stage mm -hmm. and I was very excited, excited and fulfilled. I was like, 
wow, the work has been paid off. Like, you know, after pushing so many years, you know, running at a loss and everything, and now you, you, you get on stage, you see that the whole of the National Theatre is filled up to the brim, you have the last floor, and everybody is excited, and the storyline is beautiful, and you know, that, that was, and I think that was, it was a play that we finished, and we got a standing ovation, mm -hmm. you know, the storyline, everything. If you're not following the story, you're not, you're not following the story, you're enjoying the comedy, but yeah. you're enjoying the comedy, you are, there's something that you have to pick in the lessons and everything. So, in fact, we're very, very excited. And that's what we told ourselves, actually. We, yeah, don't, we don't give up. We won't go again. We will we'll continue to do it. Yeah. And, 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 and that was in February uh, 2020. Mm -hmm. And then after that, COVID came. So, yeah. so we closed down uh, the theaters and stuff like that. So, uh, two years we were not on stage and like, we were not doing uh, productions and stuff like that. But that was also a very, very good time for us to have uh, kept on going. But COVID also closed down. Everything, but it's also helping in a certain way because a lot of artists, you know, uh, that was when social media also became the new avenue for lots of guys, you yeah. know, to come yeah. on and do yeah. stuff and get their audiences and stuff like that. So even though COVID came, it was a uh, good negative and positive. Yeah. Uh, what happened to two idiots? Like the you had a skate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Tales of the two idiots. Yeah. Um, what happened is that um, I, when you mentioned the COVID and social media yeah. thing, that was why it got yeah. me there. Yeah, yeah. So after the 2020, uh, after our last uh, production, mm -hmm. I relocated to Germany uh, because I got married. Mm -hmm. So like I relocated to Germany to join my wife there. Okay. So uh, at that particular point in time, we sat down and we said that you know what, okay, I will go to Germany. I will try to see if we can work on some international deals, international collaborations. So that you also stay here yeah. and you also try to work on. So even though uh, the two years have not been uh, like performing it together, we have a company that we are running that we are always putting ideas together because mm -hmm. everything was in the picture of how we can also take uh, you know Ghana into the world. So by kind and courtesy of our hard work, we even have an uh, international collaboration in May, mm -hmm. whereby we are <coughs> collaborating with um, a German organization, uh, Bridgeworks. Mm -hmm. Having some international collaboration with some artists here and we'll go to Germany, we'll come here too. So it's, 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 that's what happened today. I see. So before, <clears throat> before between now and May, what would you guys be doing? So we have like we have this coming a play, a play coming out on the eleventh of okay. March, and then also after we are trying to recruit people, get more people into the arts. You know, when it comes to theater, because I believe that a time is coming that I cannot do it all alone. Mm. I believe that there are thousands and one talents out there who are better than even what I do now. Mm -hmm. So why don't we create, you know, an avenue for them, get them more opportunities? We are also looking at, you know, producing movies as well. Where we have a very beautiful movie storyline where we're looking at, you know, a shooting between Ghana and Germany, mm -hmm. a very beautiful storyline. And when we are able to do it, it's going to sell. We are looking at Netflix and all that. But if you get to a, a time that you have to grow, you don't always have to sit, sit at the same place yeah, as you started from. You have to push high, high, harder and then get to a different level. And that's what we are, we are looking. <coughs> we believe that you know, in the next two, three, five years to come, the two idiots shouldn't be the same two idiots that started back at the University of Ghana, you know, two young guys doing their own thing. We have to push and get to somewhere. So movies, recruiting people, you know, and then also trying to set up our own uh, production house, you know, get an office, employ people, give hope to people. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the main thing, you know. You said you had a you have a play on March eleventh. Yeah. Okay, Let, let's talk about that play. What's what's the play about? <coughs> okay, so um, let me leave it to you. Uh, Hoko Hoye then is about. Um, oh, Hoko Hoko Hoye then. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, what did you go there to go and do? Uh, <laughs> you know, it is it's, it's actually about a successful bank manager mm. who had an affair with the national service personnel. Mm. Mm. Uh, <laughs> you are the first like, to stay this way. No, it might seem like it's, it's, it's a story. I'm that saying you, know. you are the first to stay this. <laughs> no, no, it, it might seem like it's a story that you heard no. about that you know. But you I mean, are the first to stay this. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, 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 I had an affair with the national service uh, personnel, and mm. they ended it. Um, the girl was not happy. The girl was not happy. But you see, the beautiful thing about the relationship is that um, the two involved in the relationship only allow social media to see what we wanted to see. And at the end of the day, when something goes wrong, we don't really get to know the real story because it's one side, the girl will tell her side, the man will tell her, like, mm -hmm. her side of the story. So we don't really get to know what actually really happened. Okay. But this time, the girl has accused the man of rape, mm -hmm. who is a very serious child. And the girl says she has evidence to prove that this man raped her. So she will go to court? Yes. And the man says he did not rape her. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, the legal system and 
as we say in the court, evidence the name of the game. <laughs> so, can the girl prove beyond reasonable doubt that she was raped? And can a man also prove his innocence? We say, when the recollections differ, mm. the truth always becomes diluted. Mm. Okay, so it's, 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 it's a very interesting play. It's, it's comedy. We have the whole community of the Smuggler Crew in the court. Mm. So, that <clears throat> Judge Louis Lamy's court is probably <laughs> taking this mm. case too. And it's a very, very interesting piece. As we say, when you're not laughing, you're following the story and you're enjoying the story. Yeah. You can actually do both at the same time. Yeah. 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 <laughs> there was this play that I watched. Uh -huh. um, I forgot it. I don't know whether it's Are We Safe or the, it, it had police. The set was police station. Are We, are we Safe? Uh, are We Safe? Yeah. 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 Lots of lessons, yeah. and you actually enjoy the comic side of yes. the whole thing. So uh, on March, uh, March 11 is Saturday. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yes after, Saturday. Learning, after learning your lessons. Yes. So, so <laughs> Saturday. Yeah. So um, what time? So the first show is 4 p.m. Mm -hmm. and the second show is 8 p.m. Okay. And the second show is 8 p.m. And the, and the race is a cool man. Oh, 100 is everybody can have 100 is a force. They say 100 down and we used to see ourselves will be there. We'll be there. So the uh, best thing. Yes, best thing. And if you want to buy your tickets online, you can sit in the comfort of your home. Just pick your phone and then you dial star 447 star 1096 hash. Star four four seven star one zero nine six hash. And then you some some, some some people want to buy tickets at the gate. Yeah. Do we still have that yeah, option? We there? have we have tickets okay. at the gate as well. But you know the ticket is fast selling, mm -hmm. so sometimes we get scared that you try and buy online so you save yourself from that stress and all that. Yeah. But if you come to the gates, you might get tickets to buy at that. Okay. okay. Yeah. So yeah. I'm seeing Doctor So on stage. Yes. I'm seeing you. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing the. Um, this man's a joke, he's also on stage. This man is coming back on stage. Coming back on stage. Actually, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then, yeah. the stage. Mm. Then, so, uh, why, who was raped? No? Yeah. Who was raped? That's why we wanted to come and see. And just imagine that. General and Tatia, Clemento Suarez, Oya Iti, Defending someone, but don't 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 let him. Let's come and see who they are. No, 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 they 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 should not imagine how these these guys are are going to actually take this case upon themselves. Serious. I mean, okay. if you have these guys, and the there's one young man who is also doing very well. His name is Majoy. Okay. I've been doing skates with yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Skates. Yeah. Yeah. That's also an interesting yes. skate. I mean, you guys have been doing well. Um, if for, you see, if for nothing at all, Mama Esri, me and Yeru, if you cross or mine in Koye, yes, three years, ah, me and Bekai, hey, yeah, bro. <laughs> all right, thank you for coming. Um, it's been an interesting conversation. But before we go, maybe you have um something to tell your fans out there. Um, so that's your camera. That's oh, with my camera. Yeah, you move the over here. Okay. Mm. Uh, what we have to say is that we just really want to thank you, you know, for for supporting uh, Ghanaian comedy, Ghanaian content, and Ghanaian theatre all these years. We really want to uh, thank you. We appreciate you so, 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 so much. This is how we help ourselves to grow. You know, you support us. We also feed you with a lot of good content, and that is the only way to grow the industry. We believe that we are here for just two reasons: to love one another and to help one another. So let's just keep that vibe. Yes, I'm a mumra me reshu. Ya boka se kaku. You see already, the team is here. We beg all of you to come out in your numbers to support us. Come and see Clemento Shires, Loya Inti, Jelan Tati, Foster Romanos on stage as a Foster. You know, you will love his play. Louis Lamb. Foster, Foster. Foster, Foster. Foster, Foster. Foster, Foster. Foster, Foster. Young boy, 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 Foster, young Foster. All right, thank you for coming, General and Tetia and Dr. And so, I want to say a very big thank you to Ghana Weber. So, mm -hmm. Charlie, you guys have been fantastic all, all these years. years. Yeah, like Charlie. all these years, like, like for 10 years now. Our first production, yeah, yeah, yeah. love is politics. We, we partnered yeah, with you yeah, guys, and it was fantastic. Yeah, Charlie, you are still with us. And we appreciate you. This is your home. Anytime um, you need us, just um, call on us. Uh, for every event organizer out there, anyone in the creative space, if you need our assistance, Let's do this together. It's an ecosystem, of course. We are there for you, you are there for us. That's how we grow this industry. And that's how we end this episode of eForum on Ghana Web TV. For more news, visit our website, www.ghanaweb.com. And for more of our videos, visit, um, go to our YouTube channel, Ghana Web TV. Um, you can also go on the website, there is the Ghana Web TV um, section there, and then you get a chance to watch other videos and uh, programs that are produced by Ghana Web and uh, other external <coughs> sources. Thank you for watching. My name is Benefo Wabin. You can call me Abratipa. Have a nice time.
and hope to meet you at the National Theatre. Media production needs to be a new movie. Upon.